Hello. Hi. It's been a while since I've done a uh, YouTube uh, live for you all and um, just wanted to kind of throw this out here uh, just because I have done like a couple of videos and then as the norm goes, my room is a mess <laughs> because of it. And um, I would like to spend this time to kind of fix it. Cause, yeah, guys, that's what happens. Um, so I, I kind of also wanted to shift things around on my shelf and kind of like fix my guys here. So, um, hopefully I can get to that. And then, uh, last but not least, I also wanted to, um, finish some face up work that I started. Uh, I'm actually filming it for a, um, video. I'm going to do like a, uh, like a, I don't know what it's called, compilation video maybe? But like I'm like fast forwarding basically through everything and it's just gonna go by really fast. And you're gonna see the face up like done in like in five minutes or something. So I thought it'd be interesting to see um, that. Just I know like uh, I love doing face ups and I think it'd be really cool to see like a fast forwarded process of it. So um, yeah, so the only thing I'm trying to do right now is trying to fix this doggone thing that I'm trying to make work right now so I can post on the social meds that I'm actually, wow, look at me doing, uh, doing stuff on YouTube 10,000 years later. Oh my God. So, and then we'll, 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 we'll start that. It will happen. Oh God. No, stay on this page. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Okay. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing great so far, by the way. I um, uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. Oh, wow, I didn't even copy this all the way. I said, come to all the contact dolls with. <laughs> I didn't even finish like with me. Um, okay, here we go. Got it. Hey, oh, look, little baby. Hey. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, Therese. Reese's. Reese's Pieces, yeah. Um, uh, I don't know what to start with first. I feel like I need to clean up the hot mess that is this corner over here. I uh, did a review and then like I left everything there and I did not clean it up. My trash can is like filled to the brim right now. You don't even understand. Take a look at that. Oh, dude. That's what life looks like after you finish. A video. That's what happens. I misses you too, little baby precious girl. Yes. So um yeah, because I'm actually also one of my other side things that I've been doing now is that we've been doing streams for video games. Me and my husband have a mixer channel called Jonessa Gaming, and uh we game and we stream and you know, we do all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, so that is uh, what has been consuming some of my time right now. And I told him, yes, if I wanted to play. And I really did. I was like, oh, I do want to play. But then I was like, no, we got to work on my doll babies. Because my little dollies, I haven't done anything with them. And they're just sitting here in the corner of my room just chilling. So, And I'm tired of coming into my room and seeing them looking at me like that. They're all kind of like, help us. <laughs> I get them. They're all like over there in that corner, like, you know, contemplating life. Yeah, and then I have like doll boxes everywhere. So I kind of just want to organize some stuff. Wow, this is just going to turn towards me, which is kind of funny. No, don't, don't turn towards me. Nobody wants to see my ugly face right now. Um, <laughs> it's still turning. Can you not turn for me, please? I'm going to put this other chair in the way so that way it doesn't turn because science. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So uh, I started uh, working on my um, deer, and so I've been shooting some progress photos. If you haven't seen them yet, um, they are on my Instagram and on my Facebook. So if you're interested in seeing how the deer is going, uh, you can check it out there on my page. Um, and now I'll give you guys a little sneak peek here. I had to like put her. Do you see? <laughs> 
how I canoodled this. Um, I had to like, it's a pick for clay. And I just like let her chill there because I was, I was sealing it. And then I was like, man, I really want pearl X everywhere. I want to make these shine and glitter. Like, I don't know what shines and glitters, but I uh, went ahead and I put them all on these in this box here and so now it's all super shiny and great and everything so i don't think you can see that how can i make this work be resourceful maybe this will work maybe not oh 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 yeah kind of oh sort of oh kind of not really kind of not really sort of maybe yes no you cannot see it Anyway, like I said, it's on my Instagram and on my Facebook. So if you want to see better pictures of my dear friend, <laughs> get it. Um, you can check her out there. I'm actually really pleased with how she's turning out. So I'm, I'm actually pretty stoked about that. And then I uh, went ahead and I painted the, um, what's I'm calling? You're working on a dolls on Cindy too. Hi, Rainbow. Yeah, it's like so much fun to work on. I'm like really excited to work on it. So um, this is my little antler i'm gonna do more wow it focused like for five seconds and then it unfocused don't look at my ugly nails <laughs> this, is, this is uh what i have so far so i have the base color and that's all i've got so far but i'm gonna put gold and i want to put charms on it it's gonna be great and then i tried fixing the dolls on ann's ears because the dolls on ann's ears had like some scratches and stuff like that and so i also made them very sparkly and glittery i wish you could see how sparkly and how glitter it is to fully understand Stand it. Ugh, but you can't. I don't know why my camera is always such a goofball about stuff like that. But yeah, so I put everything in here and then I blushed the legs and look at the match. Oh my God. Yay. I feel like I did a pretty good job matching the colors because this was already, it was pre colored to this. And I was like, oh, I need to somehow make the legs look like that because these were blank when I got them in. The legs are blank, so now that they have a cool fade and they're like gold and shiny and beautiful, and the camera doesn't want to show you how. Oh, oh, oh I'm going to die. <laughs> it just like left pastel on my table here. It's cool. We're good. We're good, guys. It's okay. It's my doll. It doesn't matter. If it's a customer, I take better care of it. I promise. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hi, peoples. Thanks. Yeah, they're my shiny posters, and I love them so much. Like, I heard that they, I think they, I think they went back on tour or something. So, yeah, I, I, I always think of them. So, <laughs> I love shiny. I want to get BTS posters, too, and, like, and stuff. I think it's NCT. I like them also. I just like K-pop music. I'm just trash that way. Yeah. So I have like a bunch of other random stuff in this room. I don't know why, but I do. Um, I have like my nail polish supplies in here. Um, my husband's very sensitive about the smell, so I don't do my nails anywhere near him within a certain radius because then he gets all like... I'm dying the smell. So yeah, that is that is why I have all these other random beauty supplies in here, but I do. And then for some long reason, I've got some other extra stuff here. Oh man, I should totally put this face mask on. My friend sent me that. I do want to use that. That is a thing. And then look at how beautiful this chocolate tin is. Ooh. So yeah. So I'm just basically trying to clean out. I have a bad tendency of putting things underneath this table, but then when I need to access the closet, I can't get to it because I have to move things out of under the table and move the table. So I'm trying to figure out like how I can organize this better so that way I don't have to worry about moving everything like that. So, um, so I'm moving things out of the way. So, um, yeah, it looks pretty good so far, I think. Um, this is the real mess here is my dolls and I needed to get clothes for my MSD girl here because she's, um, my Martha's new and she's just chilling here naked. So I'm gonna, 
get her some stuff to wear. And I'm going to unplug you guys out of the thing. So the battery's going to start dying. But I can move you guys closer so that way you're not looking so weirdly at me. So, okay. So, there we go. So this is the real mess here. I have glasses from like streaming for some reason. Let's get off to the side. We Gucci. Okay, and this is the bag that my other deer came in. So I'm gonna put that away. That will go away. Okay, that goes in there. All right. So um, yeah. So I did a review, and usually, typically, when I do reviews. Um, it looks like a hurricane came through my room. So <laughs> I have to kind of fix things and I feel so bad because like I stripped down so many dolls and I was like, give me your pants so I can try them on. So yeah, I don't know if you know this, but apparently the mini AG doll clothes will fit the dolls on Anne and Cindy. I have seen people use Glitter Girls doll clothing for their MSDs. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because I actually don't have any clothes on them yet because I'm working on their bodies and stuff too but yeah no that's good information to know because I they're kind of just sitting there right now kind of naked and stuff and I did think about that I was like what am I gonna put on them and so I have like a whole bunch of other just random clothes and I'm gonna see what can fit from them here but that is good to know oh no his foot's not going through yeah I feel sorry for my boy here this is um Claudio and um, his hair does not fit him. It's like a really big wig. He needs a smaller wig than this. But, you know, I just have not gotten around to getting him a wig. <laughs> he just looks sad in all accounts. He's just like, what is this that I'm wearing? It's, even his hands are like, what's going on? So, yeah. Okay, well, he's got clothes now. And I know he has shoes here that I threw up on the floor when I was like, I got to put things on this girl and see what fits. And so now he's got his clothes back on. He's not a naked guy anymore. And I'm going to put him... I don't know where I'm going to put him. I'm going to put him on the shelf for now. So I'll put him up there. And then let's draw, dress the other dolls here. Oh, that's right. I did have these pants for her. So maybe she'll keep these pants and I'll put like a shirt or something on her. I don't know what to put on her. She's a, she's a slim body girl. So I need to find something that will fit appropriately. And my MSD clothing, but I have is very limited, so she doesn't really have that much of a choice as to what she's gonna wear. Let's see any tops that are her size? I might have to give her an MSD shirt and then say it's a dress because I don't think I have anything uh, that will fit her per se. Oh man, I don't think I have anything. See, because like the clothing that I buy for my dolls is usually like, I only buy like one outfit for them and then I'm like, well, that's all the money I have. So um, get used to just wearing that. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if maybe this top, I have this top that someone could give, it was given, it was given to me this top. I think it's an SD size. Oh Jesus, it's an SD size top. This is gonna fit her like she's wearing something crazy oh you know what I just thought of right now too she's gonna need a wig I don't even have a wig for this girl oh girl you got nothing girl oh man this is a really big shirt <laughs> oh did I catch an Ascendva stream yes you did and uh yeah it's gonna be great because I have got no clothing for this girl that I'm gonna just throw on my shelf right now oh no <laughs> She's like, why don't I have anything to wear? Look at these sleeves, guys. No. Uh, <laughs> she's got no clothes. This is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm just going to put her there for now. I'm going to really honestly dig through my clothes to see what I can find for her. Because, oh, my God, that's like the saddest thing ever. Okay. I'm going to put her clothes back on because she was dressed very cutely. and. And so was my um, Kumi back there. Um, <laughs> poor thing. All right, so, oh, I think I put the skirt on first. No, I put the shirt on first. Oh, look, there's an eyelash, just being an eyelash. Hello, 
Raven Kitty. Yeah, I know. I need to go look through my clothing because that's just really sad looking. So, yeah. Ugh. Yo, I hope, um, I hope Strawberry Four Fields does more clothing because her stuff was super cute. I mean, look at this top. I love it. She needs to make more things wherever you are, my friend. Hello, good morning, Java. Wherever you are, it is evening where I am at. It is nighttime. That's why I'm actually being able to do stuff because the baby is asleep. Unless she wakes up and then I'll have to go check on her. There we go. Look how cute that is. See? Totally adorable. I love it. And I need to get that other girl a wig. So I will go hunting for a wig also for her too. Oh, look. It's my sister from my nut. Not from the same mister. Hey, sis. Uh, daytime. Kon konnichiwa. 8.32 a.m. Oh, my God. How is the baby? She's doing so good. She just got her shots for her six months yesterday, and I was, like, so sad for her. Because I was, I don't like, I don't like hearing her cry like that. <laughs> but she was such a good baby, though. She did good. She's a, she's doing good. There we go. Now she's dressed. She's like, hey, girl, hey, thanks for getting me dressed. I totally love it. Uh. I totally mm, love it. <laughs> that's what she is. Oh, oh my god, yeah, so that's what it is. <sighs> yeah. Do you have any five star dolls? I was thinking about buying one and was wondering if you knew anything about them. I actually do not own any five star dolls, but my sister who is in chat, which is Mooney Maid, she does own five star dolls. And from what I've seen from her dolls, they're pretty good. They're they're uh, they're not bad dolls. Um, they, the, I feel like they have very distinct looks to them. Um, the fantasy dolls that they do have though are pretty cool and interesting. Um, but I mean, they're from an owner's perspective, as you can see, she loves her five star doll. Um, personally, uh, I have to look back at the prices because I don't remember what the prices are like for five star. Um, but I feel like there's so many dolls out there in the market right now that you can you can take a look at a whole spectrum of different things now and see uh, what you really like. And uh, if fantasy is your thing, then, you know, uh, Five Star has, has some fantasy dolls that you can definitely check out. Oh, I forgot. I could probably give her this dress, but I like this dress on her. But her band-aid keeps on falling off. And when I was trying to put it back on last time... Um, it was like all crazy. <laughs> it's all good, Mimi. I, I'm actually surprised to even see anybody in stream, to be honest with you. Because I just kind of did this spur of the moment. I didn't advertise it or anything. I was just like, yeah, I'll, do, I'll jump on the stream. I'll just do something doll related tonight since I've been doing so much gaming stuff. So, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I love this girl so much, though. She's so cool. I like her a lot. This is my MU um, matcha. This is the uh, the big baby line. And uh, yeah, she's a really interesting one. How's the baby? Oh, you guys are so sweet. Everyone's asking about her. I really appreciate that, guys. Because I didn't want to ever be like one of those people that's like always talking about their kids all the time. <laughs> but, but you know, uh, she's doing really good. Uh, I was telling the people on stream that um, she got her shots yesterday. And so she's kind of like a, you know... She cries a little bit, and then, like, you know, she's she's a trooper for the rest of her time. So, really, she's a good girl. So, dude, she need, this girl needs to be really strong. She is so loose. Wow. Or new. She needs new string. She is, like, she's, like, the most loose. This is super loose. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. That is crazy. She needs, uh, this girl needs some attention here. I don't even know. What's her strings like right now? Uh, yeah, she's doing good. Oh, yeah, dude, I could tighten this because this is like, oh, Lord. Maybe I should do that right now. Maybe I can't do that right now. I'll do it right now. <laughs> this is really bad. Yeah, dude, that is so, she is like insanely loose. So I'll, uh, I'll tighten it up a little bit here. 
I'll retie the knot here because that is kind of unacceptable how loose she is. I was like, I just I just grabbed her off the shelf and I was like, whoa, whoa, girl. She like having a party. She's like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah. Oh man. Aw, yeah, I love my baby. She's good. She's a good baby. But I'm like a pushover mom. I'm really bad, guys. I'm really, really bad. Like, I uh, I was talking to one of my coworkers, and she's like, yeah, so, like, you know, you have your baby in the crib already? And I was just like, um, yeah, she's in the crib. And they're like, what do you mean? And I was like, um, she's in the crib in our room. <laughs> I just can't, guys. I can't be separated from her. I'm horrible. Like, she's sleeping in her own bed, but it's just, like, I, I need to have her there in the same room. I still feel like she's too little to be in her own room by herself, so. Mm, so sad. Because she's, like, my friend, my coworker, she was, like, she, she started having her baby sleep in a separate room at, like, three months. And I was, like, what? how could you? And like, I'm so scared. And I'm like, no, I can't do that. What do you think about Obitsu dolls? I love Obitsus. They are fabulous. They're a great alternative if you are not looking to spend a bajillion dollars on a bulk selfie dream or Danny Chu's um, smart doll. You can make your own like, you know, really cool looking doll. Um, and that's the bigger varieties. The smaller obitsus, I've learned to really, really enjoy them. They're so much fun to work with. Um, and they're really cute. And um, I really like them a lot. I'm trying to take this knot out, guys. I swear to God, if you sent me a doll to work on, I'm not going to use my mouth. I'm just like, <laughs> this is just this stage of life I've, I've come to accept myself in. So I'm just trying to move the knot down because it's too... Uh, it's too loose. My doll is too loose. Um, bu -bu 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 ah! Your doll is showing when you get married and going on hiatus, and I was wondering how you're doing as a mama and wifey. Oh, thanks! Doing good. Doing good. It's it's good. It's definitely different. Um, I think I like I released a video on it, like talking about how I feel like kind of weird. Hello. Yeah, how I feel weird about like how um you know, that I have gone through so many, like, stages of life in this hobby, and I was wondering, like, how it was going to change and if it was going to change, and I feel like, I mean, I definitely haven't done as much doll stuff as I would have liked, what as what I like to do, because, you know, I definitely, like, I come home from work, and I'm, like, tired, you know, and I want to do anything, and then my husband wants to do his, like, uh, channel thing together, and so I'm kind of, like, mm. When am I going to do doll stuff? So, uh, I mean, I, I'm trying to balance everything. Um, and I feel like it's going to get a little bit harder when um, when baby gets older and she's more mobile. Because then I'm going to have to really keep an eye on her. Right now, it's like, you know, she's asleep. And so during this time while she sleeps, hubby and I are, you know, doing our own thing and playing and I'm, you know, here I am streaming dolls and all that good stuff. So, man, my finger hurts. Holy cow, that was really tight. Okay, this should be a lot better. Ow, dude, ouch. She's like, I should suede her torso. She's like, she's like super smooth here. But a lot better. She's not as uh, wibbly wobbly as she was. I should cut this string. Do I have scissors here somewhere? I thought I did. Oh, they're over there. Hold up, I'll get my scissors. So yeah, yeah, that's how life has been going. So yeah. You know. Um, it's it's been really good. So I'm just slowly trying to get back into it. Um and I'm trying to like, you know, at least keep posts on Instagram with some doll stuff on it. Um and all that jazz. So I wanted to take a picture of my shelves when I finish it right now on uh on the stream because I thought that'd be fun. Okay, she's she's doing pretty good now. I like it. She's good. Action doll Dana, that is what she is, in case you were wondering what this is. It is an action doll Dana, so that's why she looks kind of interesting with her joints and all that stuff. And they have so many different kinds of dolls now. Um, 
Hujo's doing really good. They have a lot of really cool stuff out. So yeah, I really like her a lot. I like her a lot, a lot. So I'm gonna put her dress back on. She's super cute. I like her. She's my little Lolita girl. Oh, I need to fix this in the front. So yeah, I, I stripped her down too because I was like, oh, I need a dress. Let me try a dress on the new girl. And so I pulled off her dress. And I was like, yeah, the dress fits. Yay. So you're if you order the dolls on, not the dolls on, if you order the MU Martha, she can fit into uh, pretty much standard size MSD clothes. She's just, she just has slightly sh like shorter shoulders. So yeah. Oh, I can see my table. It's clear now. Oh my God. Yes. Okay, dressing BJDs has trained me to dress babies. Because when I dress my doll, my baby, when I dress my doll, it's like, baby, oh my God, what the heck's wrong with me? When I dress my baby, it's like dressing a doll. Oh, your phone likes to die. Yo, my phone is having issues too. I got the new Google Pixel and then like, I don't know why it was having issues and I had to return it like three times. Knock on wood, the one I have now is doing okay, but. Okay. Yo, what is that? your butt? <laughs> her butt was like holding the dress back. It's like, what are you doing with your life? I'm admiring the posters. I know my babies. I love them so much. They like bring so much stuff like that. Cause like when I was um, in my anime club, like in, in college back in the day, like we would uh, listen to them and then we would do, we did like a dance. Like we tried to do one of their dances like at a at a festival that we had. They're so like nostalgic, I love them so much. All right, so I'm missing a cuff. She is missing a cuff. Where is the other cuff? Oh, there it is, I see it. No! Why would you fall? I did that to you. But that's a good thing about these dolls is they're ABS. So no damage will happen because they're made out of plastic and not out of resin. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Asemba BJD destroying her dolls. All right. There we go. Let me put this off to the side. But I found the other cuff. Here's the other cuff. So I'll put that on her right now. There you go. I love her. I love taking pictures of her. She's so cute. I like her a lot. Let's tie her little dress here. And then she's wearing a cute little necklace that Hujo gave me. And I have a matching one. It's super cute. A little backstory on that. Okay. So I'm going to tie this double. No, wait, hold up. This is a really long bow. Like a really, really long bow. I'm gonna double it. Maybe it'll look okay. I don't know, we'll find out. Find out together. Let's open it up more. More or less, there we go, that's fine. And let me cut that ribbon. Where did I put my scissors? Um, I put my scissors somewhere. Oh, there they are away from the reach of children. There we go. There's, there's a little thing coming off. Oh my god. All right, guys, I feel like I've already done so much and I, all I did was put dolls away that were just chilling out here. That's all I did. That's all I did in life right now. Okay. Yo, oh, it's like that girl had shoes. Where, is her, where are her shoes? Okay, here we go. And there's Kimmy's wig. And then, so she's my little Lolita girl. She has this cute little cap that was given to me. And put that on top. She's so cute, look at her. Isn't she the cutest all over? Okay, I'll just kind of lay it on there for now. Cause it should tie underneath. You know, maybe I'll tie it, like I'll pre-tie it and then I'll just kind of like hang it. Right, she's beautiful. I love her so much. So I'm just like, don't knock on um 
on, you know, dolls that they might not be like super duper expensive. Like she's a very affordable doll, but I mean, it's all what you do with them. You don't have to spend like a bajillion dollars on a doll to get like for it not to, for it to look cute. You know, you don't have to spend that much. You can, it's all about what you do. Okay. Why isn't this bracelet going on there? Go there. All right. So that is her. I love her so much. She's the best. Have you heard about Smart Doll? Yes, I have heard about Smart Doll. For a long time, I actually wanted a, um, the boy, AG. I wanted an AG. And then I was like, mm. I kept on thinking about the price. And I was like, I don't know if I can afford that. That's really expensive. So, because I kept on thinking, I was like, man, for 500, I could really buy like other stuff with it. And then like, I have so many dolls that I could be buying like clothes for and stuff and accessories with that $500. And I'm like, do I really want another doll or should I just like spend money on my other dolls? I think that'd be better. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, I wanted an AG doll for like a long time, but that never happened. So, yeah, look at her. How cute she is. She's a super adorable girl. I love her. Yeah, so I'm going to organize her on the shelf. I, I want to redo my shelf because I want to kind of like switch it up every now and then. So uh, this is this is kind of like how everyone looks like right now on the shelf. And I have select dolls that are on the big shelves on the walls. So um, if I direct you towards upper areas. Um, my pull-ups and stuff are up there, and then I have my, like, I guess you can call it, like, a hobby shelf, and my hobby shelf has, like, uh, my manga on it, and then it has plushies at the very top and some Barbies, uh, and then over there, I have some Obitsus and my Star Plush, so, yeah, Bima! Um, so I kind of want to make this look, I guess, a little bit more... Um, I don't know. I kind of want to shift people around on it because, um, really what happens is that I stream when I stream, um, they're in the background. So I kind of want to make this look really cool. Um, and so what I thought about one of my ideas that I had was like, you know what? I, I like the idea of them being a little bit higher. So like, why don't I put like a doll box on top and then I can lay something over it like a material or something. The thing is, I don't have a material right now, but I thought about, you know, maybe investing in some material and making it kind of look like a seat, like they're sitting on a seat. Um, so for now though, I'm gonna place them on the box and then see how that looks. Cause I didn't know how their legs would be if I put them on the box. So I'm gonna test that out and see like this should be here. So, um, let me see. Um, but I do like the idea of keeping my SDs up here. I just kind of want to put like my favorites like in different positions and stuff. So I want to move them so you can see them. There they are. That's who I'm working on. That's this top shelf is who I'm working on right now. So yeah. Um, can I speak? Can you speak any Japanese or try to learn it? Um, I actually took like four semesters of Japanese. I actually was going to minor in it. I literally was going to minor in Japanese. I was that much of a weeb and I didn't. Um, so I, I kind of just stopped there. <laughs> um, but I can still read like hiragana and I kind of remember majority of katakana kanji though i'm really bad at kanji um and i can still write i think i can still like write some stuff um but yeah i'm not like fluent my sister that's over there is um she's more immersed immersed in it um but i did find when i went to japan it wasn't too bad and i felt like a lot of it was coming back when i went to japan um and it was just really cool, like to hear it and and to see it like written everywhere, like to see Japanese writing everywhere. I thought it was really neat. So, um, but yeah, no. If you asked me uh, back in my college days, uh, yeah, I think I was, I think I was pretty, pretty okay. Uh, 
I, I think I was decent enough because um, my teacher let me be the TA for him. So like I would grade like other people's work, like from Japanese one and Japanese two. Um, and then like I got like the foreign language award for um, for my campus for Japanese. So it's pretty cool. But that was back in the day. I wish I could learn Chinese. Chinese would be really cool to learn, I think. Chinese is really neat. But I feel like Chinese is like even harder than Japanese. Especially with like reading, because you have to like know all the symbols and stuff. So yeah. I'm gonna move these guys off here real quick. And I'm gonna get like a paper towel and just kind of because um we also installed these shelves. <laughs> And I didn't move my dolls when they were installing the shelves. And so there's actually like dust on the shelves from the install. So uh, there's that. Oh my God, look at all these guys. Oh my God, guys, I forgot. I'm like in love with her. Every time I see her, I'm like, why are you so cute? I just want to bite your face. <laughs> like She's so adorable. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Sarah. Yeah, I'm a little like, mm, little bangs. <laughs> yeah, a lot easier when you get to use it every day. You got a words. Yeah, I got a words. <laughs> I got my, got my Weibo words. That's what I, that's what I did. But I am glad that I finally did get to go to Japan. Like that was like a lifelong dream and everything was just so up to my, you know, liking and everything's amazing so we're planning another trip hopefully um and we'll we'll like do everything we didn't get to do on the first trip because there's so much to do and it's just like oh we need to have the time for it okay this is clean now there's all this dust up here okay so let me show you my idea for this shelf here so my idea was to get like a box and I'm thinking like, it's too high, like this. Like this, and I don't know how they're gonna sit on it. Cause the SDs are longer than MSDs. So let's see how this looks. So if I put them up here, we'll find out and see what goes on. Oh my God. Ooh, you're going this October, November. What's your opinion on MU dolls? Um. I really like them so far. The ones that I have and the ones that I've seen are really cool. Um, oh man, he's gonna like sit his legs in here. Oh, he's gonna have high water pants. Let me put them up here. See, kind of like that. I just want them higher because they're kind of like low. I kind of just want variation on the shelf. So, um, but I like them. The Emmys that I have in my collection are. This girl here, which is the matcha, and she's really neat. And they're really pretty, and I think the prices are really affordable. Um, and then I have this guy here, who I've dubbed to be Tres, like younger brother, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know what his, what his place in life is. But he's super cute. I feel like they're really well made. Um, and then the other one that I have is the new girl that I got in which is this one, the Martha, and she's really pretty, although she's dressed really horribly, really bad. But yeah, I think they're really good, solid dolls. I feel like they're so, like, um, them, Mystic Kids, uh, MU and Mystic Kids are so, I guess, similar in price ranges and stuff, I feel sometimes, you know, um, that I think, like, it's a great place. It's a great medium, like, for people who want you know, specific dolls and don't necessarily necessarily want to spend like a bajillion dollars. So I think they're a good, I think it's a good company to be honest with you. Um, and they have other really pretty dolls. Like I was actually on the website earlier today and I was just like, I wonder what other dolls they have. See, look, I can do her feet really cute. You guys have a really horrible angle right now. I wish I could lift you guys up higher. I'm trying to think how I can Put you guys, oh, on a tripod. I'll put you guys on a tripod. I'm like, you guys need to see it from what angle I'm seeing at because they're really cool looking right now. <clears throat> Let me see here so you guys can see this in action. Hold up. 
Um, tell you what I'm doing. Sorry, look at the ceiling for like five seconds. It's my beautiful ceiling fan. Yes, 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 ceiling fan. Okay, there we go. Oop. Now you guys can see what I'm looking at here. Let me see if I can turn this because I don't know what you're looking at really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Look at that. Pro, pro. Yeah, but you see that? Isn't that cuter? I feel like it's more dynamic to have them on the shelf with, like, their feet kicked up like that and stuff, so. <laughs> Kimmy, get out! <laughs> this going to gank out of bed. No, girl, when my baby's asleep, that's the time. That's me time. That's mommy time right there when my babies are asleep. <laughs> got to play. Um, All nice choices. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, God, there's people talking about Japan trips. Yes. Okay, but for reals, Raven, I could literally spend all my time in freaking Tokyo. I really could. So, I mean, both show. Right? She soups cute. I love her outfit she's wearing right now. She's wearing shorts and stuff. So, why wasn't I invited to the sleepover? Do you know if Barbie Ken clothes can fit the 160 USD? Well, actually, to be honest with you, that is what this guy's wearing right now. Um, he's actually wearing a Ken top, is what he's wearing right now. It's a Ken, like, tank top. The bottoms are, I don't remember what they are, to be honest with you. He's super kicky, though. He's really tightly strong. But, yeah, it's, like, it fits okay. I mean, I don't think, like, they're the best, like, clothing. But it's definitely good, like, if you don't have anything else for your doll to wear. Because um, he literally, I didn't have any other S uh, YoSD clothing, so... I mean, that's what he's wearing right now is a Ken top. And, I mean, it's got the Velcro in the back. So, I mean, it, it Velcroed closed here. So, I mean, it's not bad. Thank you, Kimi. I do appreciate you. Okay. Right? I mean, I like this setup more, right? They look good on, like, they look good on the shelf, but, like, sitting up higher. Because before, they kind of all just had their legs out, and I felt like that was kind of sad looking. So, um, and then I, I just need to be careful because I didn't want to cover up the frames too much. So it's also like thinking about not putting like boxes all the way on the side. But I think I think I will anyway. You know, just because I like it more. And so we'll see. I just need to get the boxes out of the closet because I have other boxes in here. Oh no, I'm too old. Ugh. Well, this is a tiny box. Hold up. That's really small. I mean, it'll add variation, I guess. Let me see how a you know, a SD sits on it. Um, who else is gonna sit on the boxes? Let me see. I can also flip the box too. I can put them like sideways. Uh, uh. See, I just feel like this looks so stagnant, like with their legs like that. So it's kind of like mm, I don't know if I like that or not. Let me try to stand it this way. A little butt goes on top. See, that's not too bad. All his hair is. Oh my god, his hair! <laughs> it has like stuff in it, like from the um, from the from the shelving when we were drilling holes into the shelf. Maybe there you go, friend. Yes, friend. There you are. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know. Um, hmm. I think I should just go get another large box for him to sit on. I guess I'm too scared. Like, what if something happens and he, like, falls? I mean, I could probably his leg. I mean, prop his leg like that. Is that too short? I mean, right, I should probably get another box. I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't know. <laughs> right? I, I feel like it's because I have a lot of boxes, and I'm like, I might as well use them. <laughs> Take your dolls. Bring them over. They can seek refuge here. I need to move this table out of the way. I wish this table would fit somewhere else because it's so hard to freaking move around it sometimes. Oh my god! Oh my god! The ring light's about to kill me. Hold up! I gotta move this ring light out of the way before I die. Death by ring light. There they go. Look at them. Now I can see them even better. Light shining on them. Right, hold up. 
I wish I could put this coffee table somewhere that I could still use it and not worry about it. Okay, hold up. Wait, why is this? This box feels like it has stuff in it. I don't know what's up with this. Oh, it had the um, container for the doll because the squirrel had like a container. Um, so like these two are the same. So I mean, that takes care of that. I mean, at least he's now like, and he's a little bit higher, you know what I mean? So that way it's like, he's not gonna be on that shelf too horribly bad. Let me see. Let me put somebody else up there. Let's see how that works out. I just feel like they look a lot nicer sitting with their legs like like this than what they looked like before. There you go, friends. I need to get a toothbrush up in here because he's all like, I don't know what's going on. There you go. I like this guy's wig. I like his face. I, I don't even, I normally don't keep uh, company face-ups on them, but I really like it a lot. Where's the where does fool at? There he is. He's like, hey guys, what's up? It's just me, being me. See, because now he's really tall and he covers up this this little thing back here. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Dang, it's too much because he's covering the painting now. Have him sit on the floor. I just didn't like that their legs were just so straight. Um, what do you guys think? You think this is too, too much? Are company face-ups bad? No, company face-ups aren't bad. I just really like having the freedom of doing my own face-ups. Um, and I just generally enjoy doing face-ups. That's why I've kind of never like been like a person to be like, yeah, I want to order the company face-up with it. I usually order them or prefer them in blank so that way I can do my own. Because everyone on the shelf except for him has a face up that's been done by me. So, yeah. I make it look so easy. <laughs> oh, man. This depends on preferences. Yeah. But they're so much fun, though. I love it. I love I love makeup and stuff in general. So, it's probably, probably, you know, helps. So I like makeup. I feel like this chick needs to stand. I don't like her sitting down at all. She really needs to be standing. But I need a good, I need a stand for her, like a, something to hold her. Cause she, she's massive to me, I feel. Oh man, her hip joints are like really weird. All right, I gotta like, I gotta like put my hands up her dress in order to like get her to stand. It sounds really bad, but it's true. Okay. I always look at her and I'm like, you are, you are the butterfly in my collection. She is interesting. Okay. I mean, I have this stand, but it's not really, I don't know if it'll support her. And I mean, I'm missing the tubing. There's another tubing that goes with this. Because this is like an Obitu stand. And I don't have the tube that goes with it. I don't know if I can grasp her legs with it either. Let's see. She'd be perfect right here, though. I could literally put her right here. I don't know why this thing is grabbing her though. Mm. I see, I don't know if I trust that. And her legs really don't stand apart. I don't know. She's an interesting one. Hujo Amy. Yeah, I feel like, I'm not sure if I like this stand holding her. Maybe if I put it underneath her kimono. You know what I mean? Hold her legs here. I just don't want her to fall, that's my thing. She falls, this is game over you. There we go. I got under the kimono. Oh, it's all weird now. See, that's what I don't want to have happen. No. No, girl, no. She's just not like a dynamic. Like, even though she's got all these different things, like, 
you have to like really play with her in order to get her to be like a certain position. She stands she stands very straight. She is not wanting to cooperate with me right now. I I don't know. I'm kind of scared of having her standing on the shelf. Like she's super wobbly. <laughs> I'm really worried about that. Can you see her there? I like her there though. I mean, she looks kind of cool. Like she, she's definitely like her own piece. She looks like she's her own thing there. Yeah. Oh, nice, Sarah. It's always good to practice, you know. <laughs> oh, man. You still live? Hey, Adam. Yeah, I am. I'm live. Just, you know, messing with my dolls. Doing doll stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like this would be better if I had the other piping piece because then it could go higher and hold it more securely. I feel like if anything happens, she's going to like fall over and die. So I'm scared. Like this doesn't really help. I mean, I think this is made for like smaller dolls. This is not like her kind of stand. It's kind of like keeping her in place, but I don't know. I don't know if I trust it. I don't know if I trust that, but I'm gonna go with it. We'll give it a shot. See how it goes. All right. Okay, so um, I think one more box. I don't know if I can fit one box there or not. Let's see here. Do I have an MSD size box? Hiding. Not there. Oh. Yeah. Where are my doll boxes? I think they're all up here. Ooh, they're all up there. Uh, oh, look here. There's some more. Uh, hmm. See, because this is going to be too big now, I think. Let's see. Oh, yeah, see? It's going to be hanging off the side now because her stand is here. I like how they're all sitting on any doll boxes. I like her standing though. I'd prefer her to be standing, to be honest. I don't want her to be sitting. She she looks cooler standing, because you can see her kimono and everything. But I don't know if I can get her to stand without fall, like without the fear of her falling. Oh yeah, and I was supposed to fix this OB and I never did. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get her to stand. Hello! <laughs> you totally jumped. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to have her sit, I guess. Maybe. Just cause I'm too scared to have her stand. I don't have anything that will like support her standing. She, she sits really weird. So I'm kinda like that. She's kinda derping. She kinda derps when she sits. <laughs> Maybe I can get her to cross her legs or something. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? Her legs look so weird. Nope. Nope. She's so bow-legged looking. That's the problem. I have to like pull out the joint and move it down. Because it's got like this um oh girl, cover up. The other thing too is that she's like she's putting on a show when she sits down. All right. See, I'm not loving how she sits. I am not enjoying that. She kind of sits like I don't know what that is, <laughs> what position that is. She's like, you know, I'm doing my thing, <laughs> just just doing it like this. Like, why? Why can't you sit normal? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't like this. You know what? Maybe if she's higher, but then I feel like I'm covering more posters if I'm putting her higher. Let's see. It's because, like, if she's going to sit, her legs have to really bend. They can't, like, halfway bend. Girl, stop showing the goods. She's like, hey, yeah. hey boys. Hey, anyone. Come take a look. At these games. 
Dang, look at her feet though, these are cool. The little like Inuyasha feet. Oh guys, what am I gonna do with her? She's just she's like, I'm gonna do my own thing, guys. Look at me, I'm so beautiful. Okay, right, thanks. She's kind of okay there, right? I mean, she's just chilling there. Safe and sorry, right, to have her sitting there. Hey Simba, can you put her stand in front of the box. I don't know. Well, it's a really wide base. And I actually don't like this stand for her. Because, again, it's missing a peg. I need to get it out of the closet somewhere. There's a, There should be another piping that goes on top of this to make it taller. And then I would have to get, like, my screw. I'm going to get, I'd have to get my screwdriver to make these tighter here. Because it, it opens up kind of, like, it with a lot of ease. So I'm not sure if I would tr trust her in it. Um, but I mean, I, if I sit it like, if I put it like this, I can put the stand in front for sure. This thing is like mega loose in here though. This middle part here is like super loose. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. I think I have a screwdriver. I can probably make it tighter here. Um, There we go. It's just the problem with the stand is you can't put it too tight because then since it's got it's plastic, it's gonna um break. Uh let me see if I can find the other piping that goes with that. Or maybe I can find another stand for her. Just because I don't trust her standing by herself. Like I would feel more comfortable if she had something supporting her so that way she can stand in something. So she looks good. Thanks. I do like her a lot. She's really cool. She's, she's definitely a fave. A fave that I have. I don't know if I have... I don't know where the piping went, to be honest with you. I moved and I put the piping somewhere and I was like, mm, I should probably keep track of that. I <laughs> don't know what I have to do it. Because it's just like a long piece of pipe. Like a plastic pipe. Okay, there's eyeballs in this bag. Yes. Necessary. Nope, I don't see it in here. I don't know where my um uh, stuff is for. It. Uh, it's a snack. Just kidding, it's not. It's one of those things that you don't eat that you put in your food bags. Um I honestly can't think of where it could be right now. I want to say it might be on one of these like hobby things, but I'm scared to like look through them. <laughs> but so much stuff in there. Uh, <laughs> my hip. I died. I just pierced my leg. <laughs> I'm dying in stream, guys. I'm dying. I just killed my leg. Oh, that table killed me. <laughs> I like bent down and then I forgot the table was there and I was like, oh, there's a cut. There's a cut there. Guys, I'm dying. <laughs> Bye, Kimi. Yeah, I forgot the table was here and I bent down and I freaking hit my leg on the table, my thigh on the table. Now, oh God, I feel like a gouge on my leg. Ah, for the hobby. Do it for the hobby. Pierce your leg for the Oh, so I'm going to put a stupid pipe. Now if I don't find this pipe, I'm going to be extra mad. Because like, now I'm like, it should be here. So I better find it. I don't think it's here. I don't know what I did with it. I used to have it, though. It was just, it's just a clear pipe that goes in that vase. And I don't know what I did with it. It's just gone forever. Ouch! Screw you, table! You hurt me, and I don't like that. Ow. Oh, I'm out of breath. Alright, okay, well, if I can't find it, then she's not standing, because I can't. This would fit here, though. I would be able to stand her, like, right here, but I just don't have her stand, so I'm going to just have to invest in this stand, I guess, for her. Ow. And then when I find that pipe, you know, I'll get back to it. So, ouch. <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> Plot twist. Yeah, I know. She hid it. She hid it for me. She's like, forget you. Oh, man. These two together here, though, for reals, because of his outfit and her outfit, they look like they could freaking be, like, in an anime together. Like, some, like, romance, fantasy romance together. These two here on the side. He's like, look at me in my extensive ring doll outfit. My limited edition ring doll outfit. And you're beautiful. And he's just like, you should love me. <laughs> he's like, girl, what'd you do? <laughs> His face looks like. Okay. There we go. Let's get that leg down. Where's your hat? He dropped his hat. Oh, God. Right? Don't they look like they belong together, like in an anime or something? Like these two? <laughs> They're like from some weird genre of anime together. It's like, I loved her, but she was a fox girl. And that went against society at that time. To love a fox girl. Yeah, it's so funny. Oh, dang. You're getting that ring doll full set. Dang, legit. Okay, so now the kids can sit in front. If I have kids, AKA MSDs that want to sit here, they can sit up here. Because my MSDs are kind of being hidden inside of the shelves right now. But I don't know, I kind of like how this looks with these guys up here like this now. This looks more dynamic. See, it's like down, middle, up. So that's really cool. Oh my god, my leg. Look, it's bad. <laughs> It's not bleeding, so that's that's okay. We're good. If it was bleeding, then I'd be like, well, time to go get a band -aid. Okay, this little guy is also another Hudo doll whom I love. He's my little punk friend, so I'm gonna put his boot back on. There we go. Michael. His name is Michael. He's like too cool for school. I just love him so much. He's really neat. Like I Chopped up his uh, wig and made it like super punk rocky looking. But he just looks like he's got something secretive all the time whenever I see him. I'm like, what are you hiding? Why, why do you look like that? And he's like, he's just like, hey guys, I love secret. He's like, hey guys, there's cookies in the fridge. <laughs> just like, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, hey, hey, hi guys. <laughs> I don't know what his deal is, but I just really like him a lot. I just feel like he needs to he needs to be up here for some odd reason. I don't know why. He just he entertains me. I like him. Him and Kumi are a thing. These two. I really need to write down my story or at least vlog it or something that I don't. It's your traditional paradise kiss relationship these two have. It's like, oh, I'm into Lolita, and I'm so cute. And he's like, I'm just a, just a real awesome looking guy, and I like heavy metal and whatever, and I'm in a band. <laughs> you know, that typical story that, you know, is found in every drama. So, yeah. Uh, Put these ones away. This thing that injured me. Ah. Makes me so mad. That hurt. Because of this shelf. And I love you, table. I want to put this table like somewhere that's not going to kill me. But there's no other place to put it, so. I guess I'll just die. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just uh, you know, just impale myself every time is what's going to happen, so. Yes! Aren't they coming along? I love Paradise Kiss. Oh my god. <gasps> Sarah, Kami Sama Kiss is the best. I cried when I read the manga. Like, it ended. I don't know if you knew that or not. The manga ended, and so, like, when it ended, I was so emotional. I was like, this is this has been my whole life, and it's ended, and it's so beautiful, and I love it so much. What the heck am I doing with my life? Yo, my house smells so good because I have those like candle wax melts and I lit one and then I lit like a couple of them and it smell it all throughout the house. It smells like, it's called Hawaiian Paradise. It's great. Oh my God, it smells like Hawaiian Paradise. 
Can I hit the table here that I don't kill myself? Because I am really sad that it hurt me right <laughs> now. But I got hurt, guys. Let me see if I can move over here. Oh, yo, and this girl needs shoes. This other girl that I left over here, she needs shoes. Just letting you guys know. So please remind me about the shoes. You never finished the manga, but it's really cute. Oh, the manga's so good. Your question still burns. Sorry, Raven. Let me go. I'll look up at your question. Hold up. Hold up. I just need to move this table so I don't die anymore. You know, because I almost killed myself on this table. I don't think this is going to work here. What is it taking with it? Oh, the lamp. Why is lamp here with it? Can I? Oh, I probably cannot open that door with that here. Can I put it this way? Can I make it go this way? Will it stick out too much? Oh no. No, Rigby. Oh, it won't work here either. Where can I put this flipping table? I'm like dying of heat right now, guys. Okay, hold up. Let me um rewind, rewind. Uh. Oh my god. Raven. What doll is she? The animal one. Oh sorry, Raven. Um she is a Hujo Amy and um she's actually supposed to be a dog. Um but I didn't like the ears that came with her. So um there was a company that Junkie Spots I don't know if they still sell the ears, but they had like resin ears, magnetic resin ears. And so um, I'm using those ears instead on her. Um, and so now she looks more like a fox. And I really like that. So I um, painted her to look like the Okami fox. <laughs> That's why she's got like those red lines and the gold there. So um, yeah, she's a fox. And the rest of her body is very um, interesting. Because they, when she came out, like, they didn't have a lot of SD size. They were, they were making a lot of the um, smaller dolls, and they were making the bear, the Hujo berries and things like that. So she was kind of like a, a trial run for them, I guess, for the SD sizes. And, um, yeah, she's really neat, though. I really like her a lot. She's, um, she's, she's definitely a very unique piece that I have in my collection. Because, um, like I've said before, I'm not really, like, a fantasy collector, although now apparently I'm going to be diving into a world of ears. So, so now I'm going to have a lot of uh, ears to be taken care of. So um, yeah, that's that's happening. So yeah, that's what she is. So she's awesome. I like her a lot. Oh my god, I'm dying though. Oh Jesus, guys, it's so hot in this room right now because I'm like moving things around. Okay, so I really don't know what to do with this table, but I want to keep this table in here because I really like it. I just don't know. I don't have any room. The only other place you can go to is in front of this closet. So now I'm like, okay, I guess I just have to put it back in front of the closet and then just never open my closet ever again. <laughs> There's nowhere else to put it. I mean, I could try to sh shove this shelf over and then put it against the wall over here, but then it's going to be really close to my bookshelf. That sucks. Ugh, I'm just gonna put it back to where it was. Cause uh let me see, I'll just go more around so you guys can see where I put it. I put it over there, but then my door won't open now. Do you see it over there? But now my door has like no entry at all. So it's like no Alright, so I'm just gonna like, leave that there. I guess I'm just gonna bring it back. Oh well. It's nice though, I like having this table here because when I do like little hobby stuff, I can move it over here. Like when I'm doing my resin pieces, I just move move it over, you know? So, okay. And I got eyelashes everywhere because I always buy, when I go to the Dollar Tree, I'm like, oh, look at these eyelashes. They'd be great for my dolls. And I never put eyelashes on. They would totally benefit from these. And I never use them. Okay. Whew. All right, that's all trash. So that's gonna go back over here in my resin box. This is, ooh, I just caught that lamp. All right. Okay, other kids that need to go on the shelf are these kids somewhere. I'm gonna put them on the table for now. Okay, so I need to move 
super duper hyper expensive camera off to the side. Oh man, they're looking good though. I think so. You know, they they be styling. They be styling now. My room doesn't look as bad. I want to move some guys around at the bottom though, for sure. I think. Up. Let's move you guys back so you guys can see the rest of the shelf that I need to work on. Because it's not just, it's not just that. Like there's more to it. All right. Oh my god. Um, trying to think if there's any other larger dolls that I want to have up here on display. Um, I always want her up here. I'm just trying to think where I would put her. I really like her. So this is uh, like I was talking about. Like if you somebody asked about smart dolls um, and obitsu dolls. And I love obesity dolls. They're the best since sliced bread because they're great. And um, I very much like the anime type dolls. So I thought she was a really cool um, addition to the collection here. And um, yeah, she's like my kawaii little friend here. So I want to put her up. She could use the stand. I know I could put her in the stand. Because she's not very heavyweight, and then she stands really good by herself. She actually has a metal base stand because she's got magnetic, um, magnetic feet. Um, but I don't, I don't want to use them. It, it won't work right now because she's wearing shoes, and the shoes she's wearing right now are actually like way too big for her. I need to buy her shoes by herself. That's cute. You know, she's going to be right there. She can chill right there. She's kind of like with the random misfits in the background. <laughs> I like her a lot, though. I feel like she's going to, like, get up and dance or something. She's just really cool looking. All right. Um, as much as I'd like to have these two just chilling up in front, I feel like they're kind of weird here. I don't, I don't really want them there. I want them to sit somewhere else. So this is where the rest of the shelf comes in, and I need to freaking glue this down on her face because I'm so tired of seeing this pop off her face. Glue this on her face here real quick. This little rubber band, this little uh, band-aid keeps up coming off of her. The adhesive is pretty much gone. There we go. Back on. Okay, your band-aid is back. This is annoying me because it's been popping off, so now it's back on. Um, yo, I would have her display too because she's just really cool looking, but I'm like... And I don't want to put her up here with the pull-up shelves. Eventually, I'd like to get more shelves up here. That'd be pretty cool to do. But, I mean, I guess she's just going to have to go down... So these are the other shelves that I have down here. It's not just the top shelf that I have. I have um, a bottom shelf. You know what I wish I could do, honestly? I mean, dreams, if dreams could come true. I would honestly get like those lights. And I know I've seen like ones that are touch base. So that way I could get light into the shelves down here because I feel like these shelves down here don't have any light so it's really dark in there but I mean that's kind of the point because um there I had to get blackout curtains for this room because it was so bright in here and so hot so I mean it's just like you know the black light the the black out curtains are there to help protect them because they were just being exposed to sunlight all day so yeah probably not but you know yeah, this little girl needs to be somewhere there. Look how cute she is. Oh, I love her so much. It's so small. <laughs> I just want to eat you. Oh, she's so cute. I love her so much. Ah, look at her. She's the best ever. She's like, hello, everybody. I am so cute. Yeah, I love her to pieces. She's the best ever. Thanks. I like my room, too. This is really fun. Is that my 50 centimeter obitsu? You know, to be honest, I've switched them back and forth so many times that I'm like confused now as to who is who. 
but I'm pretty sure she is. Um, my other one that I have is this one, and that should be the 45 centimeter. And um, her poor socks have seen better days. Um, yeah, but same thing. I love her so much. This is Sophie. And um, again, like, it's a really good example if you're into, uh, like, the more anime type dolls, but you don't want to have to spend a bajillion dollars on, you know, uh, getting a Dolphy Dream or, like, a, uh, what's I'm going to call it, uh, Smart Doll. Just buy this. Her skirt's all backwards as I'm trying to fix them. She's got, like, fuzz from something. I'm not sure what that came from. She got fuzz all over her. There we go. Now she's good. Yeah, but she, these are the ones that have really weird bodies. Like, she's wearing an SD, MSD size top, but the skirt she's wearing is actually a. I want to say this one is a. This one is not the. Is this one? Is this the one the SD bottom? Basically, it's like SD bottoms and MSD tops is what they have to wear. It's um really interesting for them. I would have her displayed on the top shelf also if I could. I don't know if I can move things around and have her be up here, too. Trust her. Yeah, I really like her a lot, too. I just love the posability for them. The posability is just 10 out of 10. Like, if you really want a doll that can pose and just really, really look cute, I mean, it's a really good one. I've always wanted to give obesus a shot. Do you get them from the junkie spot? Um, ye These two did come from the junkie spot. Um, they do. They sell um, the large scale ones and then they sell the um, smaller ones that are like the um, uh, like the one, I guess I mean they're one six scale, I guess, but like they look like Barbies. Um, they sell those also. They're really cool. I, I really probably should make more videos about them. They're really neat. Um, so yeah. Is that an Elsa doll on the bottom left? Elsa? No, this is... <laughs> This is the land of strange things down here, though. This is, like, my Barbie collection that I had, but, like, from the Barbie movies. And so I... Oh, look. Here's another thing. Oh, that's her neck piece. Um, those are actually Barbies down there. So I have, like, just Barbies down there. <laughs> so that's just kind of interesting that they're just down there. So, yeah. Have you ever tried to make shoes for your dolls? Um, no. I'm really, really bad um, about making things for my dolls. I'm just not creative that way. I, I've i tried, and you know, I tried making wigs. Did you guys see my adventure on that? If not, uh, I think I did a video. I think it's on uh, YouTube here. And I made a wig, and this is the extent of how it turned out. It's really bad. <laughs> so don't expect me to make things. <laughs> I'm really, really bad at making doll things. And back in the day, I used to make I used to make clothes for my dolls because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna save money and make clothes for my dolls. And then it just oh man, it's just really bad. <laughs> like, the stuff that I made is just really bad. I, let's just say it's in a box somewhere far, far away from me to ever find ever again. So yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, doll chateaus like that too. They need tiny tops and large bottoms. Yeah, it's weird. <sighs> um, you thought Doll Chateau body as unfaces are creepy. What do you think of them? I think they're they're really interesting dolls. They're, they're definitely not one that I would have in my collection, probably. Um, just because they're they're just the concepts and designs that they have are just really out there for me. Um, but I think it's pretty interesting um to see what they have sometimes. Uh, I feel like sometimes it does get borderline controversial with what they make, but I mean, as you know, it's, people have their own likes and stuff, and you know, I've seen some really amazing stuff out of them, though, like what people do with them, like when they get them in, like what they do. So, uh, yeah, guys, I love her. This is my soul doll. It was gifted to me, and she's so beautiful, and I love her. And the wig is made by my friend. She made her own alpaca wig. You need to look at her before I put her back on the shelf. She's a white skin doll. I don't have very many white skin dolls. There she is. Can I bring her up so you can see her more? There you go. She's beautiful. I put a beauty mark on her face. She's like one of those different dolls that I have that she's just there. Um, 
What does my husband collect? Uh, he goes in and out of collecting things. He used to like be really into um, Warhammer, and then he stopped Warhammer. And then he used to be in Magic, and he's in and out of Magic. And then he used to be like, um, you know, he used to collect uh, like anime figurines, and then like he kind of stopped collecting the anime figurines. He's like in and out of stuff a lot. He, I wouldn't say that he really collects things for too long because he kind of gets out of it. Man, I can't get this girl to sit. I forgot. I need to like suede her hips. She's got like really weird hips. I don't know if she's going to sit. She'll like barely sit with her legs out. I want them to sit on the edge. Like I want to be able to see their faces kind of. And this bandit keeps on coming up. Um... Uh, da, da, da. The most successful successful song you did was for Gamzee from Homestuck. Oh, cool! You recently got a soul doll, and it's the best body that you have. Oh, nice! Yeah, I she's a really interesting one. She um she came to me um from a uh, from a friend, and then um she kind of just chills here with me. She's kind of neat. I like her uh, face a lot. I felt like when I was doing her face, she had a very androgynous looking face. This band-aid is going to keep coming off. Um, I kind of want this shelf to be a random shelf with people in it. I don't know who else I want to display here. I think I want to put, I want to put all my hujos together. That's going to be a thing. So I'm going to put her. She's also neat. I like this one here. She's um, the Calliope. Like Hujo, like not Hujo. I think it's Fall. Which one is this one? Look at her head real fast. <gasps> There's no plate. I'm pretty sure it was falling. But um, she's a Calliope, and I thought she was really interesting because um, she has like elf ears. And um, again, with the fantasy dolls, like I'm not really a fantasy doll person, but I really liked her face. I never changed her face up. I really um, didn't. I really should though. I kind of want to redo her face up to do something else, but. Uh, she's got a really sweet looking face and I like her, um, her eyes, her lips were very interesting when I, when I looked at them, when I got them in. Oh, uh, bye Sarah. Yeah, he has hobby ADD. That's a good way to put it. Where in past videos, you shared supplies of what he used for them that also worked for face ups that worked so well for my dolls. Oh, does he still have his Warhammer stuff or did he sell them off? He... He kind of, like, sold them slash gave them away. And then, like, some of his paints and stuff like that I tried to keep. And so I have some of them, like his brushes and stuff. Um, but, yeah, he's got, yeah, he's got hobby. Oh, girl. She's showing that board. Okay, here she goes. So She's going to chill there on that shelf there. I see I like them more fronted. I like them coming up more than, like, sunken into the shelves. So maybe I'll kind of bring them up to the, some of them up to the front. It makes me sad that I don't see them. I'm like, I want to see them. So All right. I'm going to bring these guys. This will be the Hujo shelf. So the other Hujo I have is um, this one here. This is the Hujo. So that's the Dana. And I forget what the other one is. My brain is not thinking. But I loved her wig. Her wig kind of reminds me of panty and stocking because it's got like pink and um, her blue tones. But it was so funny because I had her for the longest time and I did her face up like 5,000 times because I could not figure out what I wanted to do with her face. And so finally I got like a face up that I really liked. I did one and I was like, this one's a caper. And then I never changed it ever again. Um, her... Her name is Aurora, but I can't think of what her doll name is right now. Like, it's like a, she's a Hujo. Sarah, that's what it is. Hujo Sarah. So, they're like twins almost. I think I was supposed to, I think they were supposed to be like sisters or something. And like, I never finished the story for it or whatever, but. Yeah, so you can kind of see she's kind of polar opposite. She's kind of like wearing OG fashion, I guess. I don't know how to explain what she's wearing, but yeah, that's that's her in a nutshell. 
But uh, probably obvious, but does he support your hobby? He actually, yeah, he actually does. He's really, he's really cool about it. Um, he, um, when I first started collecting, he um, was, you know, just really amazed at, like, how real they looked. And um, he really liked UA a lot. Um, and she was she would be I usually had UA like in a skirt like she was in like this um outfit that was like a school girl like a school girl outfit and he used to come anytime that he would come over to my house and he would see her there on the shelf he would like flip her skirt and like, get her panties and he'd be like Psh. and I was like what are you doing and he would just do that like for fun and I was just like leave her alone so yeah it was pretty funny he, he did some funny stuff with my dolls and then even my parents, which was really nice. My family was actually really supportive too. Um, I'm really fortunate for that. Um, they, my dad would come into my room sometimes and uh, he would do things and like put my dolls in like really weird positions. <laughs> and I'd just be like, what are you doing dad? Get out of my room. <laughs> Stop playing with my dolls. So yeah, it was really funny. Um, I've had really fortunate experiences with family and friends. Um, and now I don't really advertise it at, at school or work or anything. I just actually recently this year, because usually I don't ever like tell anybody about like my hobbies or like, you know, like cosplay or anything just because I'm really scared, you know, as a teacher, like it could really backfire against you and like, you know, people are stupid. So, um, I don't really say much about it, but, um, this year, though, I did let them know, and, like, they, they're on my Instagram, like, some coworkers are on Instagram, and they're actually really nice about it, too. They're like, wow, like, I can't believe, like, you paint those dolls, like, you know, and they're like, what do you do? What else do you do with those dolls and stuff? And, you know, I tell them I have a YouTube channel and stuff, so it's really neat. So, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, pretty neat. So, pretty fortunate there, luckily, so... Oh, man, this little land of tiny dolls. I don't know what to do with these guys. I'm going to bring this chair up in front, though. Uh, wow, look at this. Somebody could be using this. Who's tiny enough to use it? I mean, she's tiny enough to maybe. No, she's not tiny enough to use it. Oh, look, guys, I've been missing my magnets. Now I know where my magnets are. I did not know my magnets were here. I've been missing these stupid magnets. <laughs> I didn't know what they were. They're all like just attached to each other there. I want to put her in the baby chair. She's gonna go there. I feel like I feel like this is a really awkward these two shelves are really awkward because they have like resin and they have um they have my uh Hujos in them. So I'm not really sure. So Hujo, by the way, if you don't know, Hujo makes other kinds of dolls. Hujo makes these, the berries, the ones that have the really huge eyes that look like Bratz dolls, I guess you could think of it that way. So, you know. Oh my God. La la la. Uh, has your daughter talked and said anything like mama or dada? Yes, she actually does. She says uh, mama and she says papa. Um, those are the two words that she says right now. Um, let's see here. Raven says, so funny, I find it hard because I feel like I need to save for my money for proper stuff. <laughs> my stuff. I know. That's why I hardly buy anything. Actually, um, what I do is that, um, so the very, <laughs> I don't know why people think that, like, I've had people in the past that think that I make, like, a bajillion dollars off of YouTube, and I don't. I'll get, like, a small amount, like, every six, like, or seven months. Um, and whenever I get that money in, then I, uh, I'll buy doll stuff with it, uh, or hobby stuff with it, but I kind of have to pick and choose what I'm going to buy. Um, but yeah, most of my stuff, I used to have a budget like for doll stuff, but now since we have a baby, like I gave it up. I'm like, nah, it's cool. Like I'm not going to you know, worry about it. I'll try to make money through face ups and stuff like that instead. So yeah, I hear you. I hear you. <sighs> Uh, Black Rose daughter says, yeah, my mom understood the artistic side of it. My sister thinks it's a real stupid waste of cash. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I, usually, like, back in the day when I, when I used to do conventions and stuff, um, I haven't done a convention in a long time. I would do panels and stuff, and I'd be like, hey, well, you need to think of it as a hobby. You know, it's a really expensive hobby, but, you know, look at the people, look at what other people do. 
with their money. You know, there's some people that collect, you know, um, like uh, magic cards and that, that stacks up a lot of money. Some people like are into comics and comic books and shoot, I know how much that is. Freaking skip, skip beat. I'm on volume, what, 42, I think is what I saw a lot. Yeah, 42. That means I spent $420 on them. Like, <laughs> stupid. Um, you know, people buy those anime figurines. Even cosplay is really expensive. So it's just like the BJD hobby, yeah, it's really expensive. But I mean, it's not like any of us out here are like buying $10 at like a time. I mean, and the people that do do that, it's so rare. Uh, we gradually, you know, grow our collections. <laughs> I've had this since like 2009. So this is definitely not like run of the mill stuff. So. so I'm really sorry they think that way, but it's cool. You know, you know, it's a hobby and, you know, people just need to understand that too sometimes. Uh, RD, RVD says, since you said that word, lol, do all your girl dolls have panties? <laughs> That's a good question to ask. Um, actually they do. I'm really adamant about my girls at least wearing underwear. Um, all my boys, however, go commando because it's so hard to put on pants and boxers. It's such a pain in the butt. And I thought I was going to be, like, one of those people that was like, no, all my dolls are going to wear underwear. But, like, no, my boys, I don't. You could pants one of my boys and, yeah, all their stuff's going to come out. Like, I really do not care about my boys. But my girls, I am very, very adamant about them having panties on. And, um, yeah, so all my girls, they have uh, underwear. It's not the prettiest underwear. Um, I just buy, like, straight up just white panties for them because I don't. I mean, I'm not going to spend a bajillion dollars on Dolly Pins. <laughs> That's crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> That's a really funny question, though. It's legit. That's a legit question. All right. I don't know what else to put here. I kind of want to put all my hujos together in one part of the shelf and then all my little resin tiny babies together. Um, I'm trying to think, like, how I'm going to place them here. I think I'm going to put them in the chairs here. Since that's girl, that girl's just going to sit there. She'll sit here. And she'll sit here. There you go. Although she's like making like a weird face right now. She's like, Rawr! I don't know why she's making this face right now. There we go. I'll sit here like that. There you go. Wait, where's Umi? Hold up. Am I missing one of my tinies? I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. Somebody's somebody's not there. I enjoy the hobby. It allows me to bring my characters to life. And occasionally I create a new character after seeing a sculpt. And I just lurk and avoid drama like the plague. <laughs> Black Rose, I am with you on that one. Oh my god. I mean, I still I still am, you know, managing BJD addicts and stuff gets crazy there. And I'm just like, can we please just not? So I hear you. I definitely hear you. Yeah, I, I definitely, I avoid Tumblr now. Like for BJD stuff, I really don't like looking at Tumblr anymore just because they have all those disgusting blogs and I'm just like, people need to, people need to do something better with their lives, please. But yeah, all right. That's gonna, he's, I don't, whoa, what is with his arm? His arm is like all crazy. This guy needs to be restrained too. All right. Oh, crazy. Ruddy putty. I forgot there's like a whole, like two MSDs here that need to find a shelf. Oh god. Well, I might have to shove all my tinies together because I have those two MSDs that need space somewhere. Um. Yeah, let's take all these guys out here real quick. <clears throat> so this is the land. Oh, look, here's a little wig that might fit this girl here. Hold up. Okay, so that needs to go there. Put her in there for a second. Yo, I need to find this girl just clothes. I really don't like that she's wearing hodgepodge outfits right now. Yo, see, look, I have two more. I have two more little MSD or USD friends to put out here. So you have Kumi here. Umi. Sorry, not Kumi. Umi is chilling here. So Umi needs her own little spot here. It's like one of my oldest little ones that I have. Um, I might kick her off the chair because she deserves a chair more than she does. 
She's like, hey, what's up? Why do I get Kimmy? Yeah, this is a fantasy doll, Kimmy. 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 She's discontinued. She's no longer available. I don't even know if fantasy dolls is even alive anymore. I don't think fantasy dolls is alive anymore. Um, let's put this cushion and let's put the cushion somewhere. What if I push these guys back? And I put the cushion here. And I put people on the cushion. Who would sit on this cushion? I'll put her here. And then I'll put these guys on the cushion. No, because then you can't see the people on the back. What do I do? Hold up. Oh, man, there's so many dolls in this little shelf, too, that are just, like, chilling here. And you know what? I should probably get the you know, boxes that are in there and pull those out. And then this poor guy. <laughs> this poor Hojo Jake has had no hair for like 10,000 years because I stole it from one doll and gave it to another and stole it and gave it to another and stole it and gave it to another. And they're just like, I've got nothing. <laughs> That's his life. <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. White work's fine. Nobody's going to see them. <laughs> I agree, I avoid the drama. Yeah, the drama sucks, so. Just stay away from those places. You don't need that in your life, so. Yikes, I don't have to do. Um, so I need to put these two MSD somewhere. Mm. I guess I'll put this chair in the back and then I'll put because mm, I want my MSDs to be all in one row. It doesn't make sense to put them in a different row. She is only in this chair. This little guy's got his own little chair. I should buy more furniture, really. Like, more little chairs. I like the little chairs for them. And let's wipe down the shelf, too. It's really good. Have you ever been to the Walmart and seen the doll selection they have? And they have really cool props. Yes! Oh, my gosh. If I had money, I'd be buying so much of that stuff. It's not even funny. They have like, they have like beds and motors, not motorcycles, but mopeds and stuff. And like, they have a whole bunch of really cute things that I'm like, man, I want to put my dolls in these things. I want one for my dolls. Yeah. That's the, uh, that'd be the life right there. I would want that. So cool. Guys, do you think it looks good with them? I, the only reason why I thought it was good with having them sitting back all the way is that it didn't look so cluttered. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks too cluttered now because they're all fronted to the front and they're all sitting up here? Do you think that looks like too much? Or do you guys think they should be sitting down all the way to the back to make it look kind of cleaner? I don't know. Oh, this girl's like hair is like going crazy. Look at this wig. Oh, it went over her ear. It's not bad. Yeah. Fix that a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna say she had a sun hat somewhere. Here it is. I'm sure there was sun hat. Oh, she's so cute. Oh wait, where are your shoes? Let me hold up all your shoes. I think they're on top of it. Oh no, your sun hat. Your sun hat has to be on. Can't see your eyes though. What happened to your eyes? Oh, you're so cute. I love her. She's adorable. And you need freaking clothes. This one just looks sad. She looks sad with her little stuff. She's like, I don't have anything. I don't belong. Maybe this will fit her. Ooh. I don't think it will, ladies and gentlemen. It is too small. Too small, and I'm gonna try to put it on her head again. I kind of got it on. She's got really short hair with this wig on. I don't understand. It's got like one colors in it. It's like a really weird. Really, really. She is a sad modge podge child right now. She's just like, what is my purpose? Oh no, her hair fell off again. I'm trying to put a wig on this girl. Like she's like, I give her stuff to wear. I don't think I have very many MSD sized wigs. I have like a lot of USD extras, so I don't know. I'm gonna put her there right now for now because I've got nothing for this child. She's just like kind of a sad, 
sad hodgepodge of things. That is my life. All right. Um, well, what's people saying? Um, it does look slight, slightly cramped. Maybe move one forward and one back and so on. Do I want more Daiso chairs? <laughs> they are pretty legit. I like putting my, my babies in them. They're kind of cool looking, I'm not going to lie. I like it because you can see them better now. I can't help but laugh at those people who are snobby over cheaper dolls. Like, seriously, I bet they ain't spending 50 bucks on human shoes saying, ooh, that's too expensive. I'm sorry, but the logic is laughable. <laughs> Call them flying Saitama from Watch <laughs> Yeah, I know. I don't know. That's what this dude is. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Saitama. Like, it's so sad. I'm going to rename him that. That's really sad. Um... Yeah, yeah, man, what's up with that? People need to stop hating on um, these less expensive dolls because they're they're great. I love I love all my dolls equally, and that's because I have some that were like quote unquote, I guess, high end, and some that aren't. And I just I like them all. They're really cool. They all are really interesting. So there's that. <laughs> so funny, Saitama. I really want. Um, Moni likes it because she says she can see them better. Yeah, but I don't know. Um, I feel like it's a lot. <laughs> Darn your band-aid. Keep your band-aid down. It just like slowly keeps it going up. Um, hmm. Because whatever's on this last shelf is going to just not get seen because all their feet are in the way. They all have like shoes and stuff everywhere. Man. Hmm. And that's because I have all these things down here to still put up back up there. So I'm like, I don't know. Um Acacia Acacia says, Are you interested in any specific type or brand of BJD right now? Honestly, yes. Um, I keep on looking back and I love looking at owners' photos just because I'm so curious about them. Um, I think it's called the company is called 2D Dolls. I'm really into anime looking dolls, like to be honest with you. I really, really enjoy my um, my Obitsus. I think they're really, really fun and um, they're really neat collection pieces. And the 2D dolls, like they are basically like, like, um, like the smart dolls, I guess you could say, but they're resin. And um, I'm always really curious about them to see like how they are and, you know, what they look like. And um, whenever I see people like post about them, I'm always like lurking on that post because I just want to see more of them. I think they're really neat. So yeah, that's the only one that I'm like, everything else I kind of have been avoiding like looking at stuff because I'm really scared of like falling in love with something and then being like, well, I really can't get it because I'm not going to start buying more doll stuff right now. As you can see, I'm just trying to find like, spots for these guys here to sit and be comfortable and happy in. So, yeah. Hello! Hello, friend! Hello. Yeah. Yo, I think these guys are not going to get to be able to be seen because they're just like hiding here in the shelf. I don't know what to do. I like these two, though. I kind of want them to be displayed. Those two are like my favorite. Uh, decisions, 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 and my little MU friends, just uh, my little Kojo babies are like the funny looking ones, and I'm just like, where do I put them? Where should they be? I'm gonna just let them chill back here. I kind of like my special children, you know, they're the ones that uh, that nobody really talks about, <laughs> they're just like there. These poor guys. I'm just gonna put them back there. Um, and my Barry's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. She I do like her though. She's really legit. Like this is my Hujo Barry and um when I went to uh, Japan, I went to the Daiso, like they have these really their Barbie clothes from the Dollar Tree, their version of the Dollar Tree are way better than ours. Like so this is one of the outfits that was there and it fits her perfectly and it was like, oh let's go in there. So she's wearing Ken shoes too, by the way. So if you have a Hujo. You know, looking for shoes for them. They can wear um, Ken shoes. That is your fact for the day. <laughs> they can wear Ken shoes. 
Oh, I think these other guys are just gonna all be just chilling here in this room together. We're just gonna be best friends. And before I started the BJD hobby, I bought these, and then I learned a lot about these. Because apparently Emery said, like, um, the Obitsu dolls' faces get, like, recycled in other fashion dolls. And so, like, apparently one of the, like, Hujo faces, not Hujo, Obitsu faces got, like, stolen. <laughs> like, the ideas got stolen and made these dolls or something. So I was kind of like, oh, wow, I did not know that. That's a lot of information that I did not know. Okay, I don't know what to do with these girls. They're just gonna both sit here on this little bench if I can sit on this bench. <laughs> like, no, we refuse. Get off. <laughs> oh, dude, and this girl keeps on falling apart. She makes me crack. So, the, and these are the really, really tiny ones that I have. These are Obitsus also, but these are like the 11 centimeter Obitsus. They're like the Shibis. They're really tiny, and I'm always scared I'm gonna lose their pieces because they're like they're really small. Put her here. Where's her sister? Her sister here. Also falling apart. Uh, oh god. <laughs> That's what I mean. Look, like I'm like trying to put her arms back on and it's like everything's falling off. All the pieces are falling off. So tiny. It's the only drawback to Obitsu sometimes is like their little pieces get like really loose and so I'm like skeletal system can only um you know, stay, I don't know what the word is, you know, they can only stay like, um, I guess tight. I don't know. They eventually start becoming loose. That's the problem. They start becoming loose and then they lose um, the ability, you know, to maintain their pose and then, you know, they get really loose. This is the Hujo Jan, no, Hujo? Is this Hujo? Who made this? I think it is Hujo. Janice? It has like the two faces on it. It's like really bizarre. I haven't done anything with it. I was planning on doing a giveaway with it, and I never did. So maybe I'll just keep it there, and then eventually that will be its course in life. Be a giveaway. So one day. Okay. Oh, damn, I have this. Well, I have Saitama still here. What do I do with Saitama? Okay, I need to put these two here. I want these two to be displayed. They're just gorgeous. They need to be out. I love them too much to not be displayed. Saitama is going to chill here on the bench with this chick they're gonna be best friends there they go so yeah actually fun fact of the day um these little cat hats they fit really big on sd size dolls but they actually do look pretty good on our um hujo dolls and like the pull-ups like anything that has like a big head they actually do look pretty okay on watch i'm wearing See, look at that, so cute, right? Soups adorbs. So um, yeah, if you're wondering about hats for big headed dolls, there you go, just buy a cat hat. Cat hat done. Okay, she actually needs to be on the shelf with the other Obitsus. I have my other like really nicely complete Obitsus up there and that's where she needs to live right now. Okay, now we're gonna put all of our USDs down here. And my dolls should all have a shelf now. And then she needs to be in the front. Because she's the OG. Yeah, look at all these resin babies in chairs. They look so good in their little chairs. And then she'll be like, here, like, ta-da, I'm a cute one. Okay, but I don't know what to do with these guys, though. These guys really should be displayed. These are really cool. I really like these guys a lot. These are the um, Fallen Dolls, and I think this one is the, I think they call her Rab, Rabby, and, um, oh, there's the baby, she's waking up, I think. This is my little rabbit, my first attempt at doing tattoos. Yeah, but these two are my favorite, and then this one is the um, Fallen Doll Force, and it's like a fennec, it's a, um, it's a fox. You guys need to see these. If you have not seen them in a long time, they are really cool looking, and I love them a lot. So there we go. So this is uh, Fallen Doll. It's a little um, box. A little friend. And um, one of my friends made an out outfits for them. She's wearing, like, this super cute kimono. And that is her. I might have to go get the baby. I think she's, she's moving. I can hear her. 
Yeah, these do need to be displayed out, though. These are really cool pieces. And I worked really hard on their face-ups to make them really colorful and cute. And so this is the Rabby. I do like her a lot. I like her little, by giving her, like, little tattoos on her face. She's super cute. I like her a lot. Another outfit made by my free. So, yeah. Oh, kind of awkward here. They're kind of awkward just sitting up here on the top shelf. Yeah, she's sitting all weird. This one's like her legs are going out. There we go. Best friends. They kind of feel like they're like her familiars or something. I don't know. Okay, it's kind of funny. Okay, I'm gonna put these supplies away. They don't live there. So it's not going there. Here are your shoes, madame. And I need to find clothes for that other girl eventually. She's like sad looking there. She's <laughs> the saddest looking thing. Yeah, okay, I think that's okay for now. I think it's better than what it used to be. I like this setup more. Okay, and then this goes to this girl. It's her necklace. So I'm just gonna put this here. Um, but yeah, I feel like. I agree with you guys. I feel like it does look a little bit. I'm gonna scoot you guys back so you guys can see. Oh lord. Just kidding, I can't scoot you guys back. I'm gonna adjust this real quick. There we go. So now you can kind of see the shelf in all of its glory like that. Let me move you guys around here so I can see. Hello! Uh let me see. Um, opinion on the sculpts made to look like actors. Got into a disagreement because the person couldn't understand why I don't care for them. A little too uncanny valley for me. Um, honestly, I think they're really interesting. It's another kind of, I guess, genre or type of doll that really isn't particularly my cup of tea but um I did hear that there was a lot of controversy going around with them though because apparently like people were like saying like um like it gets like dangerous because like the validity not the validity but like you know how they're made to look like a certain like actor or actress and then like you know if that's I don't know what the term is for it but like when people say like you know you're cop I don't want to say copywritten, but like, you know, or like you're using their face without their consent type thing. So like, I don't, I don't know where I stand on that. It's kind of, it's kind of like, I mean, it's just a doll, but I mean, I guess that like when you think about it, like when you, um, when you go to see a movie like, you know, Marvel Avengers and stuff like that, they make, you know, Marvel and Disney or whoever Hasbro or, you know, Mattel make those dolls and I guess I don't know if the actors get a percentage of that but I guess I can see why like it could get kind of sticky like if they're making sculpts that look like people and then like just other artists artists are cashing in on it and it's like well you know if you were that actor and somebody made a doll of you and like they were selling your face somewhere like how would you feel about that like I don't know it's it's kind of weird um but I mean again to each his own like if you like buying dolls that look like actors and you know I guess that's your that's your thing you know I don't think I would buy any dolls that look like people um just because it's not I'm not like I really don't like the hyper like realistic looking dolls I like um definitely more of the like cartoony looks to the dolls um and definitely like more anime stuff so yeah but yeah i do know there was a lot of stuff going on with that like controversy going back and forth about that topic i think it was like recently i'm like i don't know where it was bjd addict or something i was kind of like hmm i didn't think about it in that way you know so yeah. trip and die on this light here oh my gosh i think that's i think that's better right i feel like my room feels a lot cleaner now I don't feel like I'm drowning in my dolls anymore. So I think this is okay. 
you know. I think it could be better if I had more like seats for them and stuff. So yeah. it's another temporary. This will be temporary for them. Oh, I forgot her necklace and her earrings are here too. So yeah. Hmm. What do you guys think? I kind of want, I still really want to have um, a place for her to be. I mean, she's cool there and all, but I'm kind of like, mm. Mm. I don't know about those two there. I feel like they shouldn't be there. <laughs> they, don't, they don't belong there, those two. They're just like, they're crashing the party there, I think. I don't know. What do you guys think about those guys there? You think they're kind of awkward there? The little awkward turtles? I'm trying to think where else I could put them. I'm trying to see if I can put them on this shelf here. But this is kind of like a pop culture shelf, so I'm kind of like, I'm not sure why I would have them here. On this other shelf over here. You know what I mean? Jelly beans. Uh, I'm going to try to put them over here and see what it looks like. Next to Bemo over here. They're just, they're just dolls, guys, so it's cool. I can, I can put them there. I just really wish that I could have more space for those two there. Oh, this girl's knee's all weird. There we go. I got two on that shelf there, just chilling. So look, look where I put those other two. It's kind of random though. I really don't, actually, this whole shelf just needs to be reworked also. I need to just refix this whole shelf, but they're kind of just chilling there. Try to point to it. There. They're kind of chilling there. Oh my. Yeah, I need to fix that whole shelf. It looks like a hot mess, but. Um, I think this is looking better. I just wish that I could have more for them. I don't think there's more box where I just fill with them. Let's see. So that way maybe I can move just like this. Maybe I can sit her up here. Mm. I don't know if that's better or not, moving her there. I just, I just didn't like that, um, she was kind of just chilling there by herself, sitting down. Everyone else is like on that shelf or something. Um, I think I might keep it like that. You know, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think that's all I have the energy to do, though. Thanks, Black Rose. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be taking off soon too here. Ooh, I have a new girl coming in from Lut. Ooh, a Lutz. Should be here in me also if the shelves look great. Thanks. Yeah, guys, I think that's I think that's all I can do. I think that's um I think that's gonna be what my shelves are gonna look like because I can't think of how else I'm gonna change it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this inventor adventure. I know this was kind of random for me to do. I was just kinda like, let me just stream on, on YouTube me putting my dolls together on the shelf because I just wanna do that. So yeah, thanks for sticking around and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it was kind of entertaining and I always enjoy talking to you guys on stream. Um, don't forget, you can catch me uh, if you are into video games. I stream on uh, Mixer on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Central Time and be on the lookout for some new videos. I'm going to finish working on this deer um, and I'll have that for you guys soon. So. Hope you guys have an awesome day, a dolly-tastic time and I will talk to you guys later. And have a good night. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.